The Pakistani Punjab province's government, interestingly, has passed a confidence vote. In a very chaotic midnight session, Chief Minister Chaudhary Parvez Ilahi managed to win the trust vote after the opposition, interestingly, decided to walk out, claiming that the vote had been bulldozed and therefore was unconstitutional. Now, after the vote, the Speaker of the Punjab Assembly said that Ilahi had received 186 votes, which is the bare minimum that he is required to retain his position. The number is, however, one less than 187, as claimed by the PTI members prior to the vote. Now, outside the Punjab Assembly, Pakistan's Interior Minister and the PMLN member Rana Sanaullah said that the session's proceedings were against the rules and constitution. He also further accused the Speaker of bulldozing the vote of confidence. Opposition's leaders have vowed to challenge the vote in the court. The developments have come just months after the former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan had announced for the dissolution of the assemblies of Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The leaders of the coalition government soon sprung into action to prevent Ilahi from dissolving the Punjab assembly. In a double-edged move on the 20th of December, the Punjab governor had asked the chief minister to obtain a vote of confidence from the Punjab assembly, while the opposition lawmakers in fact submitted a separate no-trust resolution against him in a bid to bar him from dissolving the assembly. However, Punjab Assembly Speaker had termed the governor's orders as illegal and also against the provisions of the constitution. And my colleague Anas Malik is still with us. He's been tracking the story very closely for us. Anas, this is very interesting what has happened in the, Menda, at the midnight hour in the Punjab Assembly. The government in Punjab, we're given to understand, has managed to win this trust vote. Tell us more as to what this means for Imran Khan, who said that he intends to dissolve the assemblies of Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, where his party, of course, rules. Well, this is a major moral booster for Imran Khan. Yeah, he has been taking this principal position that he wants an early election held. The government has not been giving a heed to Imran Khan's demands. So therefore, it will be really interesting going forward because this reinforces and strengthens his position. Uh, he wants to dissolve the assemblies of Punjab, KP. He wants to resign from national assemblies and senates as well. So uh, the electoral seating in Pakistan, that's about 64% of the share that PTI has uh, all across the country. If PTI pens down their resignations, there would not be an immediate constitutional crisis. But yes, there will be a moral crisis uh, at the hands of the government to justify uh, with regards to funding as well, with regards the by-elections and it would be it would come down to the last mo last moment uh, to the point that why not go for a general election so the ball is now with Imran Khan in his court and it will be very closely closely watched out as to what his next move will be uh, will he live up to what he has been saying or will there be a further delay we've been seeing that these delays have been happening since the month of November last year so it's roughly about three months since he's been talking about re resigning from the assemblies uh, but now that he has has uh, his 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 party led government has complete uh, 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 support of the floor of the house in Punjab that is the biggest province of Pakistan uh, it would be really interesting to see what we, what his next move will be Saleh really thank you very much indeed Anas for joining us and getting us all those insights there from Islamabad Beyond is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move